Well, tubers, Bobby thinks I should do you a video on these uh, 40 volt snowblower batteries. <laughs> I have uh, five batteries. The one snowblower takes two batteries, two 40 volt batteries, and I have two sets of those. So I have one good set of 40 volt batteries that are matched for the two stage blower. This one comes off a one stage blower. And, uh, you know, standard 40 volt. It doesn't work when you, there's no juice in it. And uh, this um, circuit board inside is, is bad. I've had it apart. I'll take it apart again today. But this is one of the original ones. Okay, this is a six amp hour battery. This is out of a newer one. And it seems to be a weak spot, but it doesn't work either. I've had it apart too, and uh, it shows 26 volts. I'll take, I'll show you that in a little while, but you don't want to see me take them apart. There's four screws in each one. It's easy to take apart, so I'll take it apart and come back. Okay, I got them apart. This is the uh, four amp hour battery, and this is the six amp hour battery. You can see the bit of corrosion on this, and it doesn't work. No corrosion on this one, but it also doesn't work. I'm hoping I can save one of these batteries. I don't know which one, but I'm thinking I can save the 4 amp one because I believe this board is, is not good. Whereas on the 6, hour, six amp hour battery, there's a different problem and I'll show that in a minute. So as you can see they both have fuses and I will check that in a minute to see make sure there's continuity there. So I don't know if I can record that or not. We'll see. Okay we can see that uh, I got this connected but the touch here, yeah, you know, it goes. I don't have a beeper on this one. So disconnect. It's one, right? So, so you can see there's continuity on that one. In other words, the fuse isn't blown. One-handed stuff is crazy. I'll set you down for a minute. Okay, we got this one hooked up. <laughs> Sorry about that. And, uh, yeah, continuity there. So the fuses are good. Stop there. Okay, we'll start again here. So that's the neg battery negative. This is the battery positive. This one has 34 volts. It's low on charge. I haven't been able to charge it but it does have the full series which is I'm going to try and show you there's battery one there's battery two I think this is battery three here battery four Battery five, battery six, battery seven, battery eight, and battery nine. So all those work on, on this one. So I'm thinking it has to be the, uh, the control board on the other side. This one all works. Now when I go to show you this one, you'll see that they don't all work. So 
We'll keep trying here. I'll get back to you. Sorry guys, just, I'm gonna have to get a tripod to get this to work better. So this battery doesn't show anywhere near 40 volts. It's not because it's discharged. So I go to battery one. That's, you know, first row. Second row. These ones are better marked. Battery three. Three fours are 12, so it's a bit discharged, but battery four, 15, battery five, 19. We're coming along there just fine. Got to find battery six, battery six, 23, battery seven, 27. This is looking good, right? But when I go to battery eight, she drops off to 18 volts. So I think one of those cells are bad in there. I think it's reversed on me. Go to battery nine. See, it just jumps up one. So that series is good, but from seven to eight, from battery seven, it should have went up to like 31, right? But it goes down to 18. So there's definitely something wrong in there. Now I was thinking it might be the heat, the heat switch on there, but I don't know. So I'll keep trying. Well, it seems I got this one charged. It's difficult to know, but. Okay, so there you got your negative charger or power on the right then a temperature and then an id then a charger port and then a power port so when you're drawn you're drawn from from the two p's negative and minus but when you're charging you're charging to the c and the p now the id i'm not sure how exactly how that works but there is a sensor on there it looked like a temperature sensor when I disconnected it, it wouldn't charge. So I connected it and it charges. So all the other one is the temperatures is uh, for overheating. So this one now is charging after I connected. Oh, I've never seen that flash before. Hmm, after I connected it. So we're actually gaining a little. I don't know. Here we go with the one hand trick again, right? Anyway, you might have to take my word for it. There you go. 30 it shows. Hmm. Was, it is charging anyway. It's gaining. But I guess it shuts off from, I don't the charge is really slow. I guess that's why it takes four hours to charge up a bank. Now the other one, I'm pretty sure I got a cell that's flipped over. Because uh, when I check the voltage in the middle, it goes negative, it goes the wrong way. I think I'm going to have to desolder that one and have a look, unfortunately. I didn't want to do that, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching. All right, so I disconnected it and then connected it, and it's charging again now. Light steady red. So when it's steady red, it's charging. I checked it. And when it goes to flashing red, it quits charging. Why? I don't know. Have to wait and see. Here we go. We're back on flash. There must be a resting period for that, from what I can see. It goes to flash, and then it won't be charging now. I could show you, but I know it's not. So, I'm going to leave it, see how long it goes to flash. If I, I can unplug it, plug it back in, and it'll charge again, but I don't want to do that twice in a row until I know a little bit more about why it goes to 
resting period. Thanks.